Hey everybody, Lancer here. Welcome you back to more Broken Sword, the Sleeping Dragon, for the PC. And it has been a long time since I've recorded this. A few weeks. So, but we're back into it, and I think we need to, uh... Yeah, we, we need to find more clues about this, uh... I consider leaving the apartment. We need to figure out just, just where this woman... That tried and decided to, kill us to visit Vonnen's place. I just, uh... I just woke up from taking a nap and figured, it's time to record this again. It has been a while since my backlog's been pr pretty nice. So I believe what we need to do, yeah, we, we need to find another clue about where this woman went. And to do that, I think you need to... I think there's an area that we actually have not seen yet. Just gotta figure out where it is. Gotta get used to the controls again. <laughs> Don't run into the... Come on, Nico. What are you doing? Da, 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 da. I still find this weird. Like not... Like not controlling the, uh... You know? The like gate was locked. Like, not doing the whole point-and-click thing. I still find that weird. I couldn't climb it now the pipe was broken. Okay. Can't seem to get on the other side of that. The wooden gate looked very sturdy. Yeah, well... I think we want to go over this way. I consider leaving the area. No, that th that just leaves the area. It's not what we want to do. But decided to remain here. Do we have anything more we can ask you? Bonjour. Yes. No. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. See, we need to find another clue. That's what we need to find. I consider leaving the area. No, no, no. Stop trying to leave the area, Nico. Come on. But decided to remain here. We gotta find something here. We gotta... We gotta figure this out. You, you know what I mean? We gotta figure this out. I'm thinking there's gotta be, like... an area that we haven't been to yet, you know, like... Hmm. Can we do anything with this box? There's some kind of... The door may have been too thick, but I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't open the door. No, nothing there. Nothing but trash. Just trash. Can we not climb back up? Oh yeah, we can. I don't know if we want to do that, though. The gate was locked. Maybe we do want to climb up this way. I don't know. Maybe there's something up here. Just another locked door. Gotta be something we can do here. That just brings us back here. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's head back down. I don't think there's anything here. I don't think so. But I think I have an idea of where we need to go. Let's head back down to the ground. To ground level, because there's nothing more we can do up here. Fair enough, okay. Won't let you go to that side. That's fine. I don't need to go to that side. I think we can... Yeah, see, you can climb here. For some reason, I didn't see that. I don't know why. Okay, new area. That's good. What do we got? Any, anything exciting? I see something on the ground. Could that be something important? What is it? There was a dark wig lying on the ground. Hmm, a wig you What said. have we here? Could be a clue. It was a wig, an expensive one too. But more important, it was an exact copy of my own style. That's why the traffic warden didn't see a dark-haired woman. Hmm. Interesting. Um... How do you... Alright, space, okay. The label inside had been cut out. The killer had covered her tracks. Almost. There were a few strands of blonde hair inside. So the woman I'm after really has blonde hair, not black. Getting interesting. Okay, so that's a pretty important clue. What is this? Looks like we can't do anything with it. Okay, well. We open the door from this side. The gate was locked. Nope. Lame. Well, now that we have that clue, maybe we can ask someone something else. Where was that one woman at? Let's talk to her. See if she knows anything. Yeah, she she was over here. That's right, you. Bonjour, madame. Pah! You again, huh? Can't you see I'm busy? Calm down. This wig belongs to someone I'm looking for. Nice. Mm. At Le Moulin Rouge, we always had such beautiful wigs. Have you seen anyone wearing this wig? No. Was she a dancer? Something much worse. Pah! A singer, then. <laughs> Have you seen a young blonde woman by any chance? I certainly have. Skinny looking thing. Like you. Thanks. Which way did she go? She got into a sports car and drove off. Do you happen to know the make of car? What do you take me for? Some kind of mechanic? You'll have to ask someone else. Sports car? Just one thing. Your husband, Alphonse. Is he around? No. I thought perhaps he might have seen something. It's unlikely. Why? He left me 20 years ago. Ran away. With a singer? That's amazing! How did you know? Lucky guess. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Au revoir! Well, that explains her hatred for singers. So now we gotta find a sports car. Maybe we can ask someone else about a sports car. Where's that one? Yeah, you, yeah, you. Do you know anything about a sports car? Hi. Well, hi there, beautiful. The woman I'm looking for is a blonde. <laughs> Me too. You're a funny guy. Hey, I am too, please. But seriously, didn't you say you were looking for a woman with dark hair? Did I? You've got me all confused now. I know, uh, I have that effect on women. I haven't seen any women running around. Most babes tend to stop when they see how I can handle a board. Right. Take a look at this wig. Yeah, nice, but not really my style. It belonged to the woman who killed Vernon. Woman, huh? <laughs> it's a cruel city out there. Don't suppose you saw a sports car in the area earlier? 
the red E-type Jag, you mean? Yes. Why did you notice it? I used to run one a little like it. Did you happen to get the registration number? Hey, there's only one set of numbers I like. And I'm not talking shoe size, huh? Thanks. Anyway. I hope you catch the killer. I will. Okay, then. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Let's talk to the one woman. See, see if she knows anything about this. Hello. Bonjour. Yes. Take a look at this wig. Very interesting. As wigs go. I found it. When? Aren't you the clever one? It belonged to the killer. So, you really are connected with the shooting. That's right. And I need all the help I can get. Did you see a blonde woman running by here earlier? Yes. Around your size, good build, muscle tone, shoe size three, maybe four, and I think not French. That's amazing. No, not amazing. Just good training. Training? I'm sorry. I'm not at liberty to tell you anything more. Huh. Did you see the E-type Jag that was in the area earlier? Yes, I did. I believe it belonged to the killer. And they say crime doesn't pay. What can you tell me about it? It was parked illegally. I gave it a ticket. Great. Do you have the registration number? Uh, here it is. 451 CAC 75. Merci. Can you tell me anything else about the car? Hmm... You know? There was some kind of mask on the passenger seat. Mask? You mean, like, a child's mask? No, an old mask. The kind they wear in a the theater. Merci, madame. You've been a great help. It is but a courtesy from one professional to another. Of course. Sounds like the police are on their way. I would appreciate it if you kept our little conversation to yourself. You understand. Of course. I wouldn't want to blow your cover. Exactly. By the way, just who do you work for? Can I trust you? Of course. One day soon, the aliens will land. We are preparing to fight them. You may join us if you wish. That's uh, very kind of you. But I have to go now. Au revoir. There has been a murder. We are questioning everyone in the area. What is your name? Nicole Collard. It's her, all right. Please come with us. What now? What's going on? And this is... Come on, speak up! Nicole Collard. Aha! The woman he had arranged to meet. She's a tough one, I think, sir. Like me to loosen her tongue a little? Not quite yet. Your identity card, please. My press card. A journalist. Typical. You have a problem with journalists? Only the spineless, lying, interfering variety. Looks like I'm in trouble then. She's the murderer, monsieur! Lock her up before she kills us all! Control yourself, madame. I'm conducting an investigation here. And we're getting on so well. How did you know the dead man? He contacted me through my paper. He wanted to meet. Why? Some nonsense about the end of the world. Why did you kill him? I didn't. But you admit you were here. He was already dead when I arrived. I broke in through the bedroom window. The killer was still here. And? We fought through there, in the kitchen. Then she ran off down the fire escape and I lost her. Hmm. There are certainly signs of a struggle. Inspector. We. Oui? How did you know Vernon was due to meet me? Your message on the answer phone. Here's the wig the killer wore. I'll take that as evidence. Where did you find it? Over the wall at the back of the apartment. Oh, I see. How oh, terrible. You've been framed. Correct, Inspector. 
She is the killer. I saw her with my own eyes. Right. The woman I fought was really a blonde. The neighbor said she had dark hair. I've already given you the wig. For what it's worth. Have you any idea why he was killed? None at all. Perhaps it was to stop him talking to me. Not everybody rates journalists so highly, mademoiselle. I've got the number of the killer's car. My, you are being helpful. Are you quite sure you're a journalist? Do you want the number or not? Very well. 451 CAC 75. Thanks. Am I free to go? Don't let her get away! The evidence is clear enough. I'm placing you under arrest, Mademoiselle Collard. Officer, take her away. With pleasure, sir. That's nonsense.